Are we live? What's going on, rock stars? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Are we live? Let me know where you're tuning in from. And let's start this show. So listen, this wasn't meant to be a podcast, but I'm just going to go into it, dive in. And if it is, it is. We'll post it. If not, then it is what it is. But welcome. My name is Joni Dillon. For those of you who don't know me, peak performance coach and trainer to the 1%. And man, I am so freaking fired up right now. I hope you feel my energy. Let me know where you're listening from and if you can feel me. All right, listen, what am I talking about today? Why am I here? I'm talking about gains are won in the fourth quarter. Listen, you've heard this before, have you not? Games are won in the fourth quarter. It doesn't matter what you do in the first quarter, the second quarter, the third quarter. Where it matters is where you end the fourth quarter. Who gets what I mean by this? And the reality of this is that right now, we have just entered the fourth quarter. We've just entered the fourth quarter. It, like it, it's right there. You're at the beginning of the fourth quarter. And I want you to think about this year and what's happened for you. And I'm curious, I'm really curious actually, when it comes to your, for those of you who sell, by the way, let me know if you're in sales or not, write a yes or no. And if you, of like you actually sell a product or a service or something and what you sell, I'd love to know that. And if your sales are where you had, in, had in test, until, <laughs> let me try that again. If your sales are where you had anticipated them to be by now, are they where you thought they'd be? Is your income for the year 2020 where you thought it would be by now? Yes or no. And let me know what you're answering yes or no to. So like be a little more explicit. Um, so, and, and here's why I'm asking you this. First quarter, most, some people kind of did actually really well first quarter, January, February, March, you're on fire. It's a new year. It's exciting. All of a sudden the crazy hits in March, right? Our business actually did really well in March. And then April, May, and June for many people, it was like, whoa, like my, the industry that I was in, you guys got rocked. 85% of the industry lost their jobs overnight, like literally overnight. And then there was another day that like 15%, I mean, literally there's like 5% of people in that industry and in the timeshare sales industry still working. I mean, it's like maybe 10, I don't even think it's 10, honestly, it's crazy. And so a lot of those people were sitting there going, what do I do now? What happens now? What, what do I sit and wait? And everybody would reach out I'm like, if you're sitting around and waiting, you're doing the wrong thing. Put your life in your own hands. Nobody else is going to pay you. Nobody else is going to tell you what to do unless it benefits them. Unless they're family, of course, right? And maybe even then. So the reality is, is that your world could have been rocked when it comes to income this year. And many of your lives, it had been rocked. It was rocked, right? And our business got rocked. Seriously, we literally went from like, had no, all of a sudden, none of our clients had jobs except for my top, my mastermind clients. They're the top 1% in the industry. They were good, but they still didn't work for like two, three months. But it was, it was interesting. And so what did we have to do? We had to utilize creativity, ingenuity, we had to pivot. We had to pivot on the dime and we had to, you know, figure out what's next. Who needs us the most right now? Where are these people that needs us? It's still our clients that we were working with before, but it was also broader than that. It was bigger than that, right? And, and I want you to know that, man, no matter what has happened for you in this year, it can change. It can change. And literally, you have three months left to change your sales, to improve your income, to literally make up for lost time. But you got to have the right mindset set up for that. You have to have the thinking that will support that objective, if that's an objective for you, right? Like who would want to actually make up for lost time and sell more than you've sold the entire year or increase your income, double or triple, whatever it is. And if that's what you want, 
it starts here in your thinking because you will never produce in a result or in an outcome that which you do not believe that you can produce. Do you get what I'm saying? If you don't first believe it, you'll never do the work to achieve it. That's real talk. So if you're in sales, if you don't believe you're going to be a top producer, a top 1% or really that you are one now, even though the results don't show it, will you pitch the bigger deals? Will you sell, you know, even show offers or opportunities for people to get started with you that are really high ticket and really uncomfortable, perhaps, if you don't believe you're that person? No, you're going to show smaller options and packages and opportunities, whatever it is for you that you sell, you know, smaller houses. Heck, I don't know. It doesn't even matter. You won't do it because you don't believe that you're that person yet. So the behavior of actually presenting an option that like some people go, holy cow, did you just ask me to spend 100K or 200K or 300K? Yup, right? You won't do that because you're not that person in your mind yet. And this is really crucial for creating new outcomes because if you're really looking at crunching time and making up for lost time, by the way, I'm curious, who listening to this would actually like to make up for lost time, right? Like drop a, 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 an emoji with a thumbs up if you'd like to make up for lost time. And I want you to know that no matter where you are, you can, but it comes down to two things. Number one, getting your head aligned. I must say it actually comes down to three things. One is getting clear on what the objective is, getting clear on where you want to go, where you want to end the year, total clarity. Your conscious mind is your goal setter. It's the part of your mind that says, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to earn this. I'm going to achieve this goal by the end of 2020 or sooner. Great. We all can do that. How many people actually achieve that? How many of you actually go out there and do what you say you're going to do? Very few. Why is that? Because your subconscious mind or your unconscious mind, same thing, one and the same, is the goal getter. Conscious mind's the goal setter. Subconscious mind's the goal getter. And that's the only part of your mind that matters. True story. So if you're not aligned, if you're not congruent with your conscious desires and your conscious intentions with, if you're not aligning your conscious intentions and goals with your subconscious mind and what it believes you're capable of achieving, then you'll self-sabotage. You won't do the thing that'll get you the result every single time. And this is why we get into habits of like self-sabotage of, oh, every time I get right up to the edge and I'm just about to break through or just about to hit that incredible income goal or sales goal, I never make it. How many people, you guys, hundreds of people have told me this in the years that I've been coaching people from the verge of termination or broke and unpaid and not selling to the top 1% of their industry. It's because they don't believe at the subconscious level that they are that top performer yet. And when that shift happens, then things start to change. Then the sales start going down. Then you're actually attracting ideal clients who want to pay you for your products and services. And then all of a sudden, man, the momentum is in your favor. It's not against you, right? Sometimes you'd be like, oh my God, the momentum's against me. No, it goes in your favor and it starts to feel easy. Maybe you know what I mean. Maybe you know what I mean. And... It comes down to clarity. Let's go back to this. So clarity, first thing is clarity, having total clarity where the heck you're going. It's not enough to just say it, write it, proclaim it. Here's what I want to be. Here's what I want to do. Many of you haven't even done that yet. Who needs to gain more clarity on where you want to end the year? If you need to gain more clarity, write clarity in the chat below. If, and it's okay to admit that I need to get a little more clear. But you won't get there if you're not clear, because you don't even know where there is yet. So getting clear is number one step. The second thing is creating that, that, um, that conscious alignment with your subconscious mind and your conscious mind to actually be the person who does the thing that has what you want or gets what you want. This is where the subconscious, what I call subconscious reprogramming really comes into play. Because if you want to crunch time, you got to do something different than you've been doing right? So you got to work with a part of your mind that nobody else is working with. Trust me, everybody else is trying to work harder, do more, have the right pitch, get the right presentation, get the right scripts, have the right strategy, the right plan, the right funnel, whatever. Listen, why is it that you can have a hundred people at an event and like 
two of those people probably are going to go out and actually create real change in their lives. Maybe five. They got the same information. They got the same teaching, the same training. They might have even gotten the full playbook. Why is it? If it was about the strategy, if it was about the plan, and that's the playbook that they were given was here, I'm giving you the same plan. Why do not all 100 of those people go out and create massive results in their life? Turn it around. Why is that? Anybody know? It's because it's not at that level. It's not at the conscious part of your mind that says, I'm going to do it. Everybody leaves the event and the online event, the whatever the thing is, I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Let's create the result. And you do something for a day or two and boom, fall flat. Forget everything you learned. Don't do the thing. It's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. And that is why I have launched and I'm launching and I can't even tell you how freaking excited I am to launch our upcoming seven day get primed challenge. The get primed challenge is to help you boost your sales, radically increase your sales. Even for, for many of you, it will be a quantum leap in your sales over this month and from now until the end of the year. And obviously beyond if you, when you get it and you implement it and it's free. I wanted to do it for free. I wanted to give back. I wanted, what can I do right now to help people who are struggling, who are suffering, whose mind is eating at them because they're so stuck in the loop, the negative loop of what do I do? How do I break out of this? How do I get to the next level? Maybe you're doing okay, but there's another level that's waiting for you. Who can relate? Maybe, you know, there's just another level, man. If I could just break through this thing and I don't know what that thing is. And I like, I don't know what it is. Maybe you're feeling that way. This challenge is for you. I'm going to talk to you about my six step get primed methodology, get primed, P R I M E D. When you prime your mind and you learn how to tap into the power of your subconscious mind, your world will change. Your relationships will improve. Your health will improve. Your sales will go out the freaking roof. Your sales are a complete reflection of you. If you're not selling, you're not being the person who is getting the sales right now. So everything that's in your world is a complete and total reflection of you. We're going to talk about it and I'm going to show you how this to tap into this, your subconscious mind in the six step framework that I'm going to share with you. It's taken thousands of people that I have coached in the most cutthroat, really, it's kind of like ruthless industry, <laughs> timeshare sales, any of you in that, in, in the world to the top 1%. They were on the verge of termination, about to be fired, broke no money, and their companies were like, hey, you're out the door literally having taken those people using this framework I'm going to share with you for free for seven days. I'm going to give you a piece of the framework every single day. What specifically you need to do, no matter what industry you're in, if you're in real estate sales, if you are in financial advisor, if you are in solar sales, if you are in, I don't know, Airbnb sit rentals, I mean, whatever it is that you do, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, if you're a trainer, if you, if you are in something that requires you to create a new an outcome in your life to sell, to change lives, to <laughs> change first your, your own life first before you can help others, right? Put your, your oxygen mask on, strap it on before you can help someone else. I want to help you do just that. So join us at getprimedchallenge.com. You can go sign up for free, literally for free. You can also join me in the VIP backstage, which will be like virtual. Y'all have your little videos around and I'll have mine. Everybody else will be in the Facebook group watching just like you are now. But if you want to get live with me backstage and have access to some bonus Q&A sessions, some live sessions with me and a couple other bonuses we're giving you, then it's like 47 bucks, you know, half a dinner out. You can add that too, but the challenge itself is free unless you want to do the VIP backstage limited number on that. So go to getprimedchallenge.com. You guys, I am so pumped about this challenge. I believe that every single person needs to know this information, yet very few actually will take the next step and do it. So if you're ready to crunch time in 2020, make up for lost time, boost your sales, and man, tap into a part of your mind that you may have never worked with, that you may not even know exists to create radical outcomes, quantum leaps in your sales, in your business, then join us at getprimedchallenge.com. I'll drop the link in here and bring all your friends, bring your team, bring your colleagues, bring everybody. Let's do this. I'm here to help you, support you. Let's rock 2020. The game is not won in the first, the second, or the third quarter. Where is it won? That's right, the fourth quarter. And it's go time. So let's go, baby. I'm here for you. Let's do this. Getprimechallenge.com. Peace. Bye, everyone.